Kayla, the booktube turtle. So yeah, it's been like five weeks at least since the last time I posted. I don't even remember what that video was. It might have, was it the outlying video? Maybe? I don't know, but that wasn't the plan. I planned to post during November, but November got crazy and I didn't film or do anything. <laughs> but I'm out of school now for winter break. I'm off for four weeks, so expect a lot of videos because I have a lot of things that I'm filming the next couple of days and that I plan to film over break, so yeah. Okay, first of all, before I get into the whole Harry Potter thing, November is like the busiest month of the school semester and this was the year that I was like, let's do NaNoWriMo. That lasted all of 10 days. <laughs> I don't know, I started off really strong and I think I, I wrote like almost 15,000 words within those first 10 days, but then I was just like really not loving the story and it was really stressing me out and I didn't want to work on it anymore and I just really was focused on the series that I've been working on and I just really wanted to work on that. So I ultimately decided to stop NaNoWriMo and just do what I wanted to do because working on the NaNoWriMo book wasn't making me happy. But I mean, I am proud that I hit the 15,000 words before I decided to stop because now with like more time, I'm hoping to be able to like go back and outline some more because I didn't have time to outline for NaNoWriMo because when I decided to do it, it was like one week until it started or something. So yeah, and like I do want to write this book this just wasn't the good a good time for that. But honestly, I probably won't do NaNoWriMo again, at least until I'm out of school. But the way it works just, the way it's set up just doesn't really work for me and how I write. I don't like feeling rushed or that I have to hit a specific word count every single day. I usually just set a due date where I'm like, I'm gonna be finished with this by this day and that's usually that works for me. Okay, so today is December 9th, which is a Harry Potter day for me. Seven years ago, on December 9th, 2010, I started reading this book for the very first time. So story time, because I like very distinctly remember the very first time I read this series. Okay, so I was in sixth grade at the time, and my brother had been reading the books also. I'm wearing one of my Harry Potter shirts today in celebration. So it was a Thursday and I remember taking the book with me to school, not the one I just showed because that's new. I've actually never read the hardback version. I read the paperback version 11 times. It's very loved <laughs> and not this book. One of the books you can open it up and it just like it's falling apart like chunks of pages are like coming out this one's not too bad it gets worse <laughs> for some of the, the bigger books book two is actually peeling anyway so yeah i honestly thought i wasn't going to like it i don't know why i just thought i wouldn't but i was gonna try it anyway um so that day that first day i read one chapter and i was like it was okay. I wasn't super attached or anything. And then Friday happened. Okay, so back in sixth grade, I was in karate. Um, I've pretty- I've tried almost every sport from like kindergarten to eighth grade. I've done a lot of things and sixth grade was karate. So anyway, that Friday, December 10th, was the like karate Christmas party. And while I was waiting to go, I remember I sat down on the couch and I was like, I'm just gonna read to like pass the time. And I read like three chapters. I just sat there and just read and I was hooked. I was into it. I was, I did not, I didn't even want to leave at that point to go to the party because I just wanted to sit there and keep reading. And then my obsession was born. <laughs> um, so then the next day, that Saturday, I wasn't feeling too good. So I just sat there and read the entire rest of the book. And I was done with the entire series like a couple weeks later. Um, so I read the entire series five times in that first year. <laughs> Basically, I read it on a loop. Like, I would read other things, but I was always reading Harry Potter. And like Harry Potter was the main priority. And then the other stuff was there. Um, and then it was getting close to the one year mark. I decided that I wanted to start at the beginning, like exactly on December 9th, the day that I had started it a year before. 
Um, so I was in the middle of reading it for the fifth time, and I finished the sixth book for the fifth time on December 7th. And so on December 8th, I read the entire seventh book in one day, 759 pages, or like the paperback was, so that I could start reading book one on December 9th. <laughs> so then I ended up reading the series six more times between seventh grade and my freshman year of high school for a total of 11 times. I haven't read it since. It's been four years. Four years. <laughs> and at the beginning of this year, 2017, I decided that I was finally going to read it again on December 9th. So here I am today, December 9th, 2017, about to start reading this book for the 12th time. This is the first time I'm reading the hardback, which is really exciting because I got these for Christmas last year, but I haven't like read it yet. Um, but I got it in hardback because my paperbacks are falling apart because of how many times they've been read. And the hardbacks are more durable. <laughs> I'm just really excited because it's been so long, but it's also definitely not going to be my main priority. There's so many like new books and books that I haven't read yet that I want to read, but it's also like it's time to read this again, but I'm always, I'm going to be reading something else while I'm reading this. So yeah, that's what's been going on in my life and where I've been for the past month month and a half, however long it's been, and the story behind the 11 times I've read the Harry Potter series. If you participated in NaNoWriMo, please let me know how it went. Hopefully you did better than I did. <laughs> I am super behind on watching all of your all's booktube videos because I- what did I even do in November? I don't know. There was just a lot going on, but I plan to be catching up over these next couple of days because I'm out of school and I have nothing else to do. <laughs> Also, how many times have you guys read Harry Potter and do you have a specific story of like how you got into it? Thank you so much for watching and sticking with me through the month where I was just not here. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!